it's here. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. such a huge fan of Selena Gomez. I always have been my whole life. She's always just been like someone I've looked up to in my childhood. She was the very first celebrity I ever like knew of and was a fan of when I was a little girl. This video isn't going to be me like fangirling over Selena Gomez for like 10 minutes, but I'm just really excited about this. So Rare Beauty is finally available in Australia. I am so excited about this. It's available on Sephora and you know I did a big order, like I pretty much ordered like the whole range and I'm so excited about it. Here is the box right now. This is literally like without a doubt the biggest Sephora order I've ever done, especially if just like one brand, but look at this, like this is crazy. In full transparency as well, I did two orders in one day. I am from Perth, Western Australia, if you guys didn't know, and we actually don't have a Sephora store. And so when Rare Beauty launched in Sephora, it launched 8 a.m. for everyone else in Australia. But because of time difference, that was 6 a.m. for Perth. I've been so excited for this to launch for so many years now that I was like, I'm going to be up at 6 a.m. and I'm going to order like everything. Cut to actually like that morning. My brain just like did not work. I ordered like two foundations. I'm really hoping one of them will actually match me. And I ordered not one, not two, not three, not four, <laughs> but six blushes. <laughs> Please tell me I, I never have to, like, I never have to buy another blush in my whole life. This is more blush than a normal human would go through in their whole lives. Um, this is why you don't trust me to do things at 6am, because this is what happens. I get six washes. Let's put makeup on my face. I'm talking too much. The first thing I'm going to be putting on my face is the Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. This is the 15ml version, so it's the smaller version. It says it's a weightless universal gel primer enriched with ultra fine pearls for a lip from within glow. I know as well that Rare Beauty has a matte primer, but they didn't have it available on Sephora. I know when Sephora first launches a lot of the new bigger brands, um, we don't always get a lot of the range. It actually feels super smooth when I am applying this. Really lightweight as well. I didn't expect it to be so lightweight. I feel like it gave quite a nice like glass skin effect which I really really like. I also just feel like I want to try this right now. This is the Always an Optimist 4 in 1 Mist. It says it's a glow boosting mist that hydrates, primes, sets and refreshes skin. I just love how simple this packaging is. It looks so like luxe and beautiful. It does have a few oils in here though. It's got citric acid, which is pretty cool. It gets me a bit confused as to how it's going to make my makeup like last a long time, especially because a lot of oils can really break down your foundation. A lot of people have said that it really works. So I'm gonna try it. I'm not in, I'm not an ingredients expert or anything. So let's do this. Almost like a herbal tea smell. I really like it, and the the mist is so nice. Like look at that. It's a, it's like a really fine mist, but it does pack a punch as well. Like you can feel it on the skin, but it's not like squirting out at you. It just is really nicely just coating your face. All right, so I bought two foundation shades. Like I said, this is the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. This is the thing I've been most looking forward to try. I have not been excited about a foundation launch for a really long time actually. This does say it's a foundation elixir that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow. Also Rare Beauty has brought out 48 shades of foundation which is just so amazing for just driving forward the inclusivity and beauty message um, which obviously I'm here for. So the two shades I got was 180W and 210N. Now the Sephora foundation picker actually recommended 210N to me, but I always go at least two shades lighter than that, just because whenever I have trusted the Sephora foundation picker, it's always been too dark for me. This one's 180 and this one's 210, already by the bottle. Yeah, 210 is way too dark. We're gonna swatch them both on my face and just, just to confirm that fact. You know, 210N just looks 
way too dark. I did not need to get 210N. 180W was so perfect. This is again why you don't order foundation at 6 a.m. and you don't, you have, your brain hasn't woken up yet. We're obviously gonna go in with shade 180W. I am so excited by this. I'm gonna do a few strokes all over my face. Also, I'm gonna go in with a sponge just because this is my preferred method. So we blended this side out with a beauty blender and everything looks beautiful. The coverage is really, really nice. It's just kind of evened out my skin tone. I believe they're going for a more medium coverage with a more like satin glowy finish. I'm using my Morphe M439 brush. This is my favorite for blending out foundation. But like, damn, that looks good. I'm like speechless, which is not useful when I'm doing a makeup review. It genuinely just doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. Like it feels so lightweight, which I love. Blended out so easily, so nicely, and it has left a really beautiful glow, as you can see. Ever so slightly, it's clinging to dry patches on my nose, but like, that happens to all foundations, so it's not something that I ever like discredit a foundation for. So I'm like very impressed. Like I'm very, very impressed. Moving on to the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. And this one says it's a moisturizing buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into skin for undetectable cake-free coverage. Now, when I did this order, I got the shade 190W, which doesn't make sense because the shade I just put on my face was 180W. Um, so ideally I would have gone 180 or 170 because I usually like my concealers to be one shade lighter than my foundation But I did this order when I ordered the 210N um, So we're just gonna have to see if this works. Hopefully it does. The shade does look okay It looks quite like yellow and brightening which I really like the shade works It's not as brightening as I would usually like it to be but because it does have that warm shade it does give a slight brightening effect. It does feel great under the eyes. Like I'm not gonna say it's like super moisturizing, but it doesn't feel really dry. I feel like under my eyes is like the driest area. And this looks like smooth. I don't even know if you can see that. This looks amazing. Like my skin has never looked this flawless. <laughs> I'm actually like so impressed. And like my glow has been preserved throughout this whole thing. I've been blending a lot of things on my face and my glow is still there. We gotta move on because we've got a lot of blushes to get through. So these soft pink blushes, when I first saw Rare Beauty, these were the products that I was so drawn to. Cream face products, I love. Like if you've ever watched any makeup tutorial on my channel, you will know I am so obsessed with just cream face products. And so obviously I had to pick up like a majority of these. These are the four shades I got. So Bliss and Love are matte and then happy and joy are dewy. We're not done with blushes though. We have the Stay Vulnerable Melting Blushes and we've got two shades in this one. And this one says, this is a breakthrough formula delivers a weightless wash of soft focus color that melts upon contact for a second skin finish. We've got the shades Nearly Neutral and Nearly Apricot. It almost just feels like I stuck my finger in coconut oil. But that's really nice. It seems like very, very natural. Something you could definitely build up. I'd say these would probably be something that's more beginner friendly if the other like liquid touch blushes are kind of intimidating for you because of how pigmented they are. I think today we could probably go for nearly apricot on one side of my face and joy on the other side because they, they seem to be very similar in shade, hopefully in pigmentation. But yeah, these are... Beautiful. I'm so excited about these. We're gonna start with the Liquid Touch because I just feel like just, I've been excited about this for so long. I'm gonna literally do like one dab. That's all I'm putting on there. I'm gonna use kind of like an angled powder brush. This is the Get Cheeky With It by MOTD Cosmetics. It's blending super easily though. Like I thought it would be a bit more difficult. Only go in with the one dot because then you won't have a crazy mess on your hands. Like that fully covered my cheek up till here. A really nice due to it like it's not shiny on the other side we're gonna go on with apricot we're gonna go just straight in with this brush as well i feel like the colors definitely look very similar and this one doesn't take long to get up to the pigmentation that i got on the other side as well i think it's performing pretty similar if i'm honest like it's really easy to spread up the cheeks and get it to where you want it to be i'm like blown away both feel so nice on the skin both blended really nicely i think if you wanted a bit more of a natural look this side um 
is definitely a little bit more natural. Some people may be crazy cat ladies, but I'm I'm crazy blush lady. We've got a few products left, um, but the next one is the Positive Light Liquids Illuminizer. This is in the shade Outshine. Silky second skin liquid highlighter that creates a lasting lit from within glow. And this shade, you guys, oh my goodness. This is stunning. Gold is like my go-to, I feel like. I always go for a gold highlight. It's just what I love to do. I'm just gonna like dot this in the places I would usually apply highlighter. I do like to be a big glowy grease ball. So I'm gonna actually use my sponge for this. Just prefer that with liquid highlighters. I'm just hoping this color isn't too dark for me. Ooh, that's pretty on my nose. I feel like I don't need any more glow. <laughs> my skin is already so glowy, but we gotta try it. It's for the YouTubes. That's really stunning. I actually think this color, it's not too dark for me. I feel like it's like just, it looks like my skin tone, but because it's not like lighter than my skin tone, like I would usually go for, it's not as intense of a highlight. It looks like you're just sweating or like you're wet. It doesn't actually look like you've got glitter or anything on your face. Also, all of these, products on my face like the blush and highlighter doesn't feel like i have anything on i know i'm saying that about like every product but it genuinely all of these feel like second skin like what they're saying it genuinely does just feel like second skin so i was really disappointed actually that we didn't get any of the eyeshadow palettes that are available in rare beauty like i said we don't usually get the full range when a brand like first comes to sephora hopefully we will get them soon enough um but yeah we didn't get any of the eyeshadow palettes but what we did get is a stay vulnerable liquid eyeshadow and also the perfect strokes matte liquid liner so you know we're going to be trying both of these today again packaging goals but not only is it cute it's also so practical so you could can you tell here there's like a flat side it's so that when you put it on your table it doesn't roll away from you isn't that genius i'm like way too excited about this fact that's genius. Why is that so simple and yet no brands have done that before? That's amazing. Let's put this on the eyes. I got the shade Nearly Mutual just because I feel like this is a shade I would use just on a daily basis. I did want to try Nearly Apricot as well, but for now I'm testing out Nearly Neutral. Um, I probably will get more shades in the future, let's be fair. Um, but yeah, I thought I would start with this one. Let's just give it a go. I'm gonna do one eye at a time. I'm just kind of using like a smaller fluffy blending brush for this. It kind of right now looks a little bit rosy in shade, which is interesting. I thought it'd be a little bit more like brown. It's so easy to blend out as well. Like I feel like I just doing like one little swipe is perfect. If you did any more than that, you kind of have a mess on your hands. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more to the outer parts of my eye. I don't know if that will actually do anything, but I'm trying to create a little bit of depth on the outer edge and then I'm also going to take whatever's left of my brush under my eye as well. It still stays slightly tacky but not like, it's not like completely dry but it's not completely tacky. It's super easy to control, super easy to blend. But moving on, now we're going to be trying the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. This is just in the shade black. It is an intense waterproof liner that delivers bold even strokes with the calligraphy style brush and oh my gosh. I have never seen such a pretty eyeliner packaging before. Like, isn't this stunning? Why is this so stunning? Like they added so much detail. The shape of this, the little gold tip, quite a big tip actually. And it genuinely does look like a calligraphy pen. You can get like such a precise line with this. There's barely any bleeding. That's really nice. I have not done eyeliner in a really long time. And when I have been, I've been using like the eyeliner stamp, so I could be rubbish at this. We're just gonna have to see. This is not a test of my skills. This is a test of the formula of the eyeliner. Let's just remember that. Um, so let's go in with this. I'm actually really scared. I was like holding my breath that whole time. Um, it's a beautiful eyeliner. It has a beautiful formula. It's very, it's very wet, very, very black. Like, I, I mean, I'm not that good at eyeliner, but I still did achieve this very quickly because of how pigmented this is. Um, not because of my skill at all. That's kind of all I have for the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead, put mascara on, do my brows, and I'll be back with you to finish off with the lips. 
Hello, we are back and my mascara on and my eyebrows looking a bit more complete. We have the last thing of the day, I know. We've tried a lot and I've talked a lot, but we're almost done, I swear. If you've made it to this point of the video, thank you. You're a real one. I appreciate you. Subscribe if you want, because you're clearly not sick of me and you should subscribe. It's a fun time here. Anyway, let's go on to the lips. And I bought the Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm. This is in the shade Nearly Apricot. Luxury hydrating lip gloss that delivers high shine color with the cushiony feel of a balm, which sounds great. So we had these available. We didn't have the actual like lip balms available, which was really sad because I was really excited to try those. We also had the matte souffles available, but I'm just not really into a matte lip right now. So I just didn't really feel like getting one of those. I spent enough money as it is on my six blushes. Um, so anyway, we are going to try these. I'm just going to put on some lip liner right now. Also it has the beautiful packaging that has the flat side on it so it doesn't roll away from you. It's the little things that get me. That's amazing. It feels really nice. Not sticky in the slightest. Like literally the most opposite from sticky that you could be. That's what this feels like. The color, however, I don't know. I don't know about you, but in the camera as well, like it looks a lot darker than in the packaging. I really like how that feels right now on my lips. It's so, so nice. Um, it's just the color. I don't know. I feel like I was expecting more from the color. It's beautiful though as like formula wise. So that is my full face first impressions of Rare Beauty all done. That is all of the Rare Beauty products that I purchased all of my face. I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy I finally have Rare Beauty in my life and I will never need to buy another blush again in my whole entire life. But my final thoughts, like I'm honestly so happy with how my face looks right now. Like all of these products look and feel amazing on my skin. Everything was amazing. There was nothing that like underwhelmed me or disappointed me at all. I feel like everything that I've tried today has immediately shot up to be like my favorite makeup products like those blushes they're like instant favorites like i'm so excited about this i'm actually now after this gonna go change out my everyday makeup bag and put more like pretty much all of the rare beauty products in there let me know what you guys thought of everything in the comments down below if you guys have tried rare beauty as well let me know what your favorite product is and why i'm so happy that we finally have rare beauty in australia it's so nice that they're just making it so accessible to most of the world right now so that's really really fun hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to see more videos from me i do a lot of beauty and, and lifestyle and fun vlogs here and there if you want more beauty content from me definitely follow me on instagram because that's where all of the beauty magic happens thank you so much for tuning in to today's video it means a lot to me i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.